Okay, so the problem is you've got a Trailblazer or other mid-aughts Chevy product that is clearly running fine. Uh, it heats fine because the, the heater's on and it's quite warm in here. Uh, but your temperature gauge does not work or it doesn't look like it works. But I'm going to tell you it does. The problem you're having is thermostat related. It's not your temperature sensor. And you can prove that by plugging in an OBD2 scanner and looking at what the computer sees. It doesn't display anything on here because I don't know why when it detects a problem with the thermostat, it just doesn't show anything on the gauge at all. So get yourself a scanner, uh, look at some real time data, and you will see what's actually going on here. And I've got a screenshot up for you of the program I use, which is Torque on my phone, which is Bluetooth to the OBD2 uh, little code thingy I've got and it'll show you what the temperature is. There you can see it. Now, we gotta just do thermostat day. 2008 Trailblazer, six cylinder, 4.2 uh, thermostat day. Did you know that if you buy a thermostat from Napa, it's actually a Motorrad product? That's the, there's the part number, 426190, but uh, that's what you're actually gonna get in the box there. At least for the, for the OEM uh, 190, degree one or 192 whatever it is um, kind of a pain of a job but what isn't anymore you got to take the alternator off uh, to get to the thermostat and that's the worst part is just taking the alternator off especially on this one it's 2021 it's never been off so 13 years of crud and corrosion total pain and you've got this uh, dumb air conditioner line that's right in the way along with this dumb air conditioner line that is also in the way of getting the alternator off uh, you got this dumb freaking engine lift bracket that you got to get off to get the alternator out. Then you really need to access the thermostat through. There you can see the hole. Uh, you really need to come to the, the wheel well here. And I took off the inner fender well because I was doing some, some work on the uh, evac purge valve earlier. Purge solenoid. I think you could probably get away without taking the fender well off for this job, but... And there you can see the two bolt holes that hold the thermostat on. Anyway, just thought I'd share that about Napa using the Motorrad products in case you were wondering. Uh, this particular thermostat here is $27. And I thought that was pretty reasonable. And then, you know, you got to use the all the wonderful Dex Cool, blah, blah. Uh, don't chance it. Just, it. just get the Dex Cool stuff. It's just better that way. All right, good luck. Have fun with that one. Um, there's plenty of good how-tos out there. Oh, I'll tell you two things that you really probably should pick up before you do this job. One, get yourself an actual, actual uh, serpentine belt tool. Uh, it's going to make getting that it's going to make getting that tensioner loose a lot easier than trying to use a three-eighths ratchet. Um, this is the tool from AutoZone, and then also this here. There's the part number for it, OEM25246, it looks like. Uh, that is a hose clamp tool. And then down here, this is the other end of the tool. Down there on the hose clamp, you can see it's still attached there, still got pressure on it. You can try to do this job without that particular tool, but you're going to wind up going and buying that tool. I got that at O'Reilly's a few years ago, I don't know. 15 or $20. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Good luck if you're doing this job. And start that bottom bolt first on the alternator when you're going to put this back on together. Tr trust me. Just trust me. Start it first.